next to the drizzle stitch. Drizzle stitch stands upright from the fabric, so they're like little bullion knots or little cast on stitches, but they're upright. And to do this, take your thread to the place that you want your, um, your little upright knot to be, and then unthread the needle. And then put it in so that the needle is, the eye end of the needle is, is here on the left, um, and it goes in where the thread originally came up. And then we're going to cast some stitches on to this to the needle here. So if you remember how to cast them on, your finger goes around the needle. And you only want half a dozen or so because these are going to stand tall. That's probably enough. And now comes the hard part. You've got to re-thread your needle. So it's quite a good idea to use a big eye. It's got it. Don't pull this through too far. And then you want to take your needle back through to the point at which, just take the tip out and then take the needle into the fabric through the stitch and that's your first little drizzle stitch. So it almost looks like an, an upright French knot if you like from the top. Um, now let's do another one. So if we come up here, unthread the needle, take the needle in like that turn that round a little bit and then cast some stitches on that'll do don't forget to thread your needle otherwise it'll all come undone There we go. Don't pull it through too far. And then keeping that those stitches taut on your needle, take the needle out, just the tip with your left hand and down into the fabric. And there's your little drizzle stitch. So I'll do some more of those now and then we'll fill the final um, section. What shall we fill it with? Um, I think a palestrina knot. Now drizzle stitch for left handers, you will put your needle in just where your thread comes up and the needle is unthreaded now. So take the thread in your left hand so hold it taut, I find helps. Take your right forefinger and cast on stitches on the needle. Now as a right hander, I actually find this just as easy to do in this direction. So if you find it difficult, whether you're left or right handed, try in the other direction. So put as many or as few as you want onto your needle. Let's do one more. And then don't forget to thread your needle. So there we go. And then once you've threaded your needle, leave some thread here. So don't thread, don't pull this through too much. And then you want to hold your stitches onto your needle. And with your right hand, just take the tip out and go down into the fabric like that. And that's your drizzle stitch.